So welcome to this second part about scatter diagrams. So I introduced scatter, uh, yeah, what scatter diagrams are in my previous video. And now we're going to answer a question. And I've asked several students the amount of homework they do each week and their grade for their maths exam. Yeah, so as you can see, one hour this particular student of homework per week and got a 40%. Yeah, and that's uh, yeah, the rest of the information. Okay, and um, I have to, to construct a scatter diagram. Now, um, to start with, then the hours of homework, it goes from one, that's the lowest value, and seven is the highest value, okay? So on my x axis, my horizontal axis, I can go from zero, if you like, up till seven, I don't need to go any further, okay? So I've chosen one block to be one hour of homework, okay? So please also label your axis. And the grades, what is the lowest grade? So that's a 40% and the highest is 93. So it should go from 40 to let's say, yeah, 95 or 100, yeah? And um, that's why I kind of broke the graph, yeah? Because I'm not using anything between zero and 40, otherwise I'm wasting all that space. That's why I broke the graph, yeah? you gotta show it. And then I said that each, each centimeter is 10%, yeah? So I can fit exactly from 40 to 100 there because I want to use as much space as possible because that will increase the accuracy of my graph and it's just a lot easier to plot those points. Okay, because that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to plot those points and then the second part of the question is to draw a line of best fit. Okay, but I'm going to plot the points, yeah? So one hour, um, 40%. So I'm going to put this table now, maybe you want to make a copy of it yourself now, but I'm going to put it to the side so you won't be able to see it anymore, so it's there. One hour, 40%, yeah, so that is uh, one hour, 40%, and make sure you do it very accurately, okay? Two hours, 55 is the next one, 50. So 55, exactly between 50 and 60. Not about, but exactly between 50 and 60, yeah? So you gotta make sure that you use a sharp pencil, okay? One hour and 45 is the next one, one and 45, so that's over there. Um, four hours and 70, four and 70, it's over there. Five and 78, five, 70. Now that I have to count the blocks, and um, 78 is gonna be there for me. Five and 78, that's what I've just done. Three and 60, so three hours, and the person got 60%. Seven hours, somebody, 93%, fantastic. Well done, six hours, 85%. Also amazing, and six hours and 80% also a very good result. Okay, so I just plotted these points in my graph. Okay, so I'm gonna put this table away now. And as you can see, what kind of correlation is there? Well, it is uh, a positive correlation, yeah, because it's going up. So there's definitely a relationship between the amount of hours of homework students do and the grade they receive. And I have to say, it's also quite a strong positive correlation, don't you think? Because the points are really near to, let's say, uh, yeah, a line. And a line of best fit is then what we have to graph, okay? A line of best fit. Now, how do you graph a line of best fit? What do you have to do? Um, you have to try the line to go through as many points as possible, okay? Now, all the points, that's not going to be possible, yeah, because that's a scatter graph. Yeah, points are here, points are there. But you're gonna to try to create a line yeah, that most of the points, or as many as possible, are on your line. And, yeah, because that's not all, and you should try to get an equal amount of points below your line and above your line, okay? So that is quite difficult to do, okay? So yeah, how does that line go, yeah? Through as many points as possible and yeah, some points below, some points above that line. Now, what is very helpful to do, yeah, because it is quite difficult, I really strongly encourage you to do the following, to find the mean, you know what the mean is, eh? You plus them all, divided by the total of piece of information, to find the mean value of the hours of homework. And if you do that properly, yeah, so if I plus them all, and I divide it by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, the mean is going to be 3.9. I've done that on a cheat sheet, yeah, but it's going to be 3.9. Then we're going to find the mean grade. So we're going to plus all those grades and also divide it by 9, and you get a mean grade of 67%.
And I'm going to plot this point. So the mean hours of homework and the mean grade, 3.967. I'll do that in blue, 3.967. So that is there. And then my line of best fit should go through my mean point. Okay? So through the mean point, then also through as many points as or other points as possible, some points above, some points below. Okay, and I'm just going to do it now. There we go. Yeah, so as you can see, it goes through the mean point over there. Yeah, it goes through that point, that point, and that point. I have two points below, I have two, yeah, three points above, so that's just the best I can do, okay? That's what we call a line of best fits. Now, I hope that was useful. Again, find the mean points, yeah, to increase your accuracy uh, of uh, constructing that line of best fit. And check my website, explainingmaps.com, for more resources, yeah, it's all for free, yeah, so please uh, check it out and share and like it if it was useful, yeah, so I can help your friends as well. I thank you very much and I wish you a very pleasant day. Bye-bye.